What's up guys, it's Will with Military Lawn Cuts. And if you know me, when it comes to mowing, you know I'm all about the ultimate lawn care truck bed guide setup. Let's get to it. All right guys, so to start over here on the right, so this is our backpack holder and our trimmer racks right here. We also have our cargo hitch that holds our mower. And these pieces of equipment right here, everything in green on the back end as well. See the trimmer, trimmer rack back here. And then there's also a hand tool rack in the back over here. So all of these pieces of equipment are from, um, I'm sorry, uh, all of these pieces of equipment are from trailerracks.com. So this is the backpack holder that we use from trailerracks.com and the handle up here you basically just push it and that opens this up and then you can go ahead and just pull this off go do your blowing duties and then put it back up here we just kind of put the hand piece of a uh, the blower on the right here but this thing just locks right back into place just like that. And then it does have a locking mechanism as well. So that way, if you go to a gas station, it doesn't get stolen. So next is the trimmer rack. So this holds our edger and weed eater. It's nice again, because it's very secure through transportation. We had a lot of issues with the plastics back here kind of getting damaged in between properties and transportation, but this is a nice secured way to really carry your equipment. And again, it has the locking piece here, which is really, really nice. So these are our two pieces of trailer rack items that we put on the right rail here that runs all the way down the truck bed. And it helps secure our equipment and keeps them safe through transportation. All right, so on the left side here, we have our trimmer spool that again is connected to this main steel bar here. Uh, these things actually go into the, the pockets stakes of the truck, one on each side, one on the right and one on the left. So these things are not going anywhere. You can shake them. They are very, very secure on all sides. But what is nice about this is you can actually put the trimmer line in here and this and then push this down and it actually cuts it so the guys don't need wire cutters or anything like that. It's just secured right there on the trimmer spool. And we can also see, or you can also see if you wanted to do this kind of setup, how much line you have left. Because I know sometimes they get thrown in the bed of the truck and kind of forgotten about. All right, so second to last piece of equipment here on our truck setup is our hand tool um, piece that holds six pieces of equipment. And again, it's very nice and secure when you're traveling or transporting in between properties. So also in the rain, you can choose to leave them on the truck or not, depending on your shop. but. Uh, we are going to keep ours on there, but it's kind of nice because the rain kind of washes them off as well. So, and again, this is, is completely changeable. So if you wanted to take this rack and put it on the back, back here, or you wanted to put them towards the center, all of these pieces of equipment have these holes right here that you can completely move this so if you wanted to take that trimmer rack and put it on this side you absolutely could if you wanted to take that blower and put it over here it is pretty much 100 percent customizable for this whole setup the reason we put the trimmer rack and the blower on the right side is really for efficiency purposes which we'll talk about later in this video all right, so our last piece of equipment is our cargo hitch carrier. So this thing gets pretty much bolted right up into the receiver hitch down there and uh, holds our mower 
and then we go ahead and strap it in but it's super convenient it's super nice that you don't need to get a big trailer or anything like that and all we do is basically drop that ramp pull the mower off and we are good to go All right guys, so as far as efficiency goes, the reason why we put our trimmer rack on the right side is because generally our trucks pull up on the right side of the properties. And we don't want our guys to have to walk all the way around the truck to grab that weed eater or blower and impede traffic or have the potential of potentially getting hit by a vehicle or something like that. We wanna to try to mitigate that risk and reduce that risk. So this is why we do put it on the right side here. But again, you guys can customize this however you want. This is just how we set ours up. So as we walk around here, the last thing I'm gonna say about efficiency is if it saves our guys a minute, let's say 30 seconds to put the, put the equipment up, 30 seconds to take it off, so a minute for each property, because we're putting that stuff on the right side to where if we did have it on the left side here, it would add that extra minute. These guys are normally doing like 18 to 20 properties a day. So that adds up the 20 minutes here and there. And you know, if you have five crews and you start growing and things like that, you really wanna think about efficiency and making sure that your layout here is the ultimate setup, ultimate lawn care setup for you and your needs and what you need um, depending on the type of equipment that that you have so this is our equipment and this is our setup so if you guys like what you saw here if this was helpful can you guys do me a big favor and just hit the thumbs up hit the like button and uh, that that really helps us you know reach more people and and hopefully serve and, and bless other people as well so Hopefully you guys have a great week, a great month, a great year, and we wish you guys all the best in your lawn care journey. And um, we'll see you guys next time.